You can always cut a tip bigger, you can't cut it smaller. Hey food nerds, I'm Julian Fader, the Gastro Nerd, and this is the Super Bowl edition of the Gastro Nerd, where I share my super recipes for a super game. One of my favorite hors d'oeuvres of all times is deviled eggs. It's really simple, very cost effective, and I just love it. It's like egg salad in one big bite. And there's so many different fun ways you can do. You can spice them up. You can do, in this case, we're going to make fancy town deviled eggs. I'm going to put a little bit of truffle salt and we'll have truffle deviled eggs. What a classy thing for the Super Bowl. So to get started, um, you need some hard boiled eggs. I just have three here. A great tip about hard boiling eggs, if you're not sure, uh, put your eggs in cold water in a pot, bring them up to a boil. When it comes to a boil, turn off the heat, cover the pot, and let it rest for about 10 to 12 minutes. After that, run it under cool water. And of course, if you wanna just take one out and check one, um, but that's really a surefire way to have perfectly boiled eggs. Another fun trick, so when it comes time to peeling your eggs, I love to do it right in the water. I'll give it a little crack on the side, but then I find from, like, from a messy, messy cleanup standpoint, it's so much easier just to do it right into the water. So once your eggs are peeled, there's really one more step to go. After cutting them in half, just cut them down the line. And you wanna know how to tell if an egg is perfectly hard boiled. When the yolk pops out, there's no gray and there's no gray around the yolk. So I'm gonna just pop the yolks right into this bowl. I have about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. That's what's gonna make it so creamy. The yolk itself is really creamy and if you think about how to make mayonnaise, it already has yolk in it so it's like an uber creamy decadent mayo. I'm just gonna smash these up. Now like I said, there's so many different things you can do with deviled eggs. This is just one example. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of whole grain mustard, just a little touch. I love the mustard flavor that it gives. And I like the look of the whole grain. And now a generous pinch of truffle salt. Mind you, the seasoning in here is gonna be the seasoning for the entire egg. Ooh, I can smell that truffle. And truffle salt, while it does sound very extravagant and decadent, is really, I think this jar might be 15 to $20. Yes, that's expensive, but if you think about it on a per serving basis, you saw how little I needed. It's the best, cheapest way to get really good truffle flavor into anything. Um, I prefer it over truffle oil because it actually has pieces of dehydrated truffle in it. Perfect. Now, I can scoop these right into here. But if you want this to look a little fancy, I have a fun party trick for you. Not everyone has access to pastry bags. I know I certainly don't always. So instead, I take a Ziploc bag or any sort of just plastic bag, and I'll take this and scoop it in. And it's like a makeshift pastry bag. And just use either of the ends as your piping tip. I always would go smaller so you have more control but obviously big enough that it makes sense and it doesn't take forever to come out. Look how nice that looks. It's so even, it's not messy. You could have fun and do different little decorations. Mm. Deviled eggs, it's like classy egg salad. It's inexpensive, it's super quick to make, and it's a general crowd pleaser. You can put your own little touch, whether it's truffle, sriracha, spice, whatever you wanna do. Make it your own. It's a great game time dish. Everyone will love it. And best of all, you eat, serve it cold so you don't have to worry. Thanks for watching the Gastro Nerd Super Bowl edition. Stay tuned. Look out for my other recipes from amazing chili, spinach and artichoke dip, banging hot wings, barbecue turkey meatballs, and a Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I made a Sunday. Anyway. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this button here and stay tuned for more delicious nerdiness to come. Mm -hmm.